Hi everyone, today we're going to be repairing a broken PNY USB drive for data recovery. So let's go ahead and open the enclosure. You need to be very careful as it is very easy to knock off components off this PCB board. But luckily this PNY isn't that hard to remove the enclosure. So we just have to remove this cover right here. Just snaps off with a little bit of force. And there we go. Now we just open this up just like a clamshell and we can see the board in there. There we go. Now we have the board out from the enclosure. We can see the four pads that were broken off the connection. It is important for these not to be damaged otherwise we need to make traces to repair them. After a quick visual inspection they appear to be healthy. Under the microscope we can see the pins from the head are still there. We can smooth them out with a high iron for our connections to be perfect. We're going to add some flux, clean it up. Now we're going to be rebuilding the connection to the head. We have some copper wire we're going to use to make it easier to connect to the head. So now I'm going to make some copper connections. Using this cable right here, we're going to cut it up and by equal length and solder it down to the uh, board itself. Now we can solder the connection back. It is much simple this way. This will also help make sure that we get a strong connection from the board to the port itself. Now that the USB port has a solid connection to the board itself, let's go ahead and clean that up. We're going to use a little bit of alcohol and we're going to lightly brush it off. Make it nice and clean. All right, and there's the end result. It's a nice and clean board, strong connection. See how clean the connections are? Now don't get too excited. This may connect well, but we will need, we'll not know until how Windows will respond to it. Okay, so let's connect it to the USB port and see what happens. There we go. And we get an LED flashing, which is good. It went off, but it should come back up. There we go. Let's see what Windows has to say. And there we go, it recognizes. But we do see an error message. There's a problem with the drive. Scan the drive and now fix it. Could possibly format the drive, so we have to be careful. Windows won't cut it here. We need to use a real data recovery tool, such as the one here, the PC3000 Portable. This device can do a lot more than Windows or any Windows software can. We can troubleshoot, send commands, and much, much more. And as we can see, it has a USB port and a SATA connection. This is a USB drive, so we're going to connect it to a USB port. So let's go ahead and connect that in. And it's detecting it. Perfect. So let's open up the software for PC3000 Portable. Okay, we have it open. We're going to turn it off and turn it back on. And let it scan. Awesome. Now we see the vendor, the model, the revision level, the serial and capacity. That's perfect. Exactly what we need. Since we see this information, let's try using the data extractor tool. We can see the root of the drive, which is where the data is located. And there we go. Now we see his, all his data from the USB drive itself. We're going to block that because this is a customer's USB drive, so all his data needs to be confidential. Now we're just going to transfer all this data to a healthy USB and call the customer. Let them know that we're able to get his data. All right, thank you for watching and tune in for our next Easy Data Recovery video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.